in Gainesville, Florida. Hey, Michael, what's on your mind today? Yes, hi. Uh, well, uh, Tom, I, I think you're going to, to really love this. I hope you do. Um, I'd love listening to you. Um, I, I wonder if you're aware that the Skills Trial 99th university, anniversary is coming up in about two weeks, uh, July 10th through 20th. It's in Dayton, Tennessee. And the reason I'm bringing it up is I'm hoping that by the 100th, uh, there's going to be some movement on the fact that if I and this ties into what Dr. Barber was saying about, you know, why do we accept and allow poverty? And it has to do with a mythology around our science textbooks. Every single textbook in the United States needs to be updated as per our U.S. constitutional law because we misrepresent, scientifically misrepresent with a southern minjulic version of it, uh, what evolution is. If I say the word evolution and did an MRI, um, the same parts of your brain are going to light up when I say evolution as will light up for the word competition because we view them as being synonymous in our culture and society. We also view, this is universal, every think tank thinks this, uh, we universally kind of view it as optimizing. In other words, uh, the way it works, what natural law is and the way it works is that it optimizes by the natural law of survival of the fittest. And this derives from the, you're probably aware of this, Herbert Spencer, who developed eugenics and our yep. educational system. Yeah, survival of the uh, fittest was, was a phrase that only was used once by Darwin. Yes, and, and, but, but our textbooks mislead every single one of them. Uh, first, they put it in the back of the book so that it, it doesn't get reached. But if it does get reached, it's presented in terms of an 1860s or pre-1860s version that basically justifies and is why perfectly sane people, you know, we, we tend to, to demonize uh, Republicans because they seem crazy and, and they really truly are if you understand kind of how the world works. They don't understand how the world works, in all fairness to them, because uh, how they see it as purely competition is not factual. The way the world really works is, yeah. co is cooperation, and every cell of our bodies is a mitochondria needs to be free living. And every text that I completely agree with you. I don't know how to do and David Loy wrote a whole series of books about this. Um, uh, David L O Y E is his last name. He's uh, Rianne Eisler's husband. And he wrote a series of books, Darwin's Theory of Love. And I was on his advisory board for years. Uh, he had a uh, kind of an institute devoted to trying to, try to get uh, Darwin's uh, actual interpretation that, that cooperation uh, trumped uh, competition. And it's an important one. I, I encourage you to check out Michael Lloyd or David Lloyd's work. Uh, Bjorn, and thanks for the call. Bjorn, 